os boi. Hmm? Captain Bosch. <coughs> Is the camera on or what? Yes. Oh yeah. First I will say hi to all subscribers and the viewers. Thanks for all support, for visiting our channel, for your subscriptions, for your comments, and for being with us, and for sharing this great, great goodwill that you can find in this beautiful hobby. Eh? And yes. now the famous question, because Captain Blush has to go, I will be quick Famous today. question, why is only one propeller on the plane? <laughs> hey, Captain Blush, film me first, hey. Now, I will tell to the viewers quickly what do we have now, the famous question, what do we have today? Now, this is the P-61, uh, the Black Widow. The famous plane from the Second World War, and I will direct myself right now, Captain Blush, because on the unboxing video I said that this plane is a bomber, but actually it was not. I, I mean, it does have bombs, show it to the viewers. Uh, uh, it, obvious it was carrying two bombs, but this was meant at the fighter, the night fighter plane. Now, why are we filming this? Now, usually we don't film the, the after assembly review. But this time uh, we just must film this because I hope that the Dynam will be watching this video. Now, on the unboxing video we have, we have seen right away that there were problems on the plane. A now this one. plane comes in plug and fly version but the actual letter for this plane, do you know what it would be better? The, the letter P and do you know what that stands for? The puzzle, eh? <laughs> this is the puzzle plane, because I must tell to the viewers that this time this plane was really, really hard to assemble. Now, a lot of stuff on this plane came pre-assembled from the factory, but that was so poorly done that, yeah. I, that I'm really, really speechless. Now, on the unboxing we have seen these gaps on, around the motors, show it to the viewers all the way here and on the other wing and all around the plane I thought that I will be able to close these gaps but there was no way because this fuselage for the engine covering is just too small and you just can't get it together well so I have just uh, uh, I have just what uh, filled the gap in here Right. Now to go to the next point. Now first come here Captain Bosch, I will just quickly show to the viewers this instruction manual which actually you can see that it, uh, uh, the assembly part of the plane is very very poor. I'll show it to the viewers. You have just a few pictures and on that pictures they don't tell you much. Now they will tell you that you have must, that you must uh, uh, assemble the vertical stabilizers, the wings and the canopy, but other than that, they don't tell you nothing. And I don't think that this plane will be able to assemble a beginner pilot, no way. Now, even this plane, we were assembling two guys because I will tell you what happened next. Now, no, not even the single part that I was trying to assemble on this plane fitted well. Now, the problem started right away at the back, the rear stabilizers. Now you must push them inside here in the holes very hard, almost to the break point, and then you barely get two screws inside. Two screws are all the way missed. You can't, you can't screw two screws inside. And when you screw them together, there is again a gap all around here on these joints. So I have glued the upper joint, the upper part of the joint, and the lower one I have just again filled the gap. Yeah, show with what? <laughs> yeah, with what's this? Read. The neutral silicon. Oh yeah, but I was... Show it, show it. But I was using the black one because yeah, this, this is, is the black. This is the silver. This is, yeah, and I was using the black one <coughs> so you, you can't see it much. Now the next problem that there was on this was the attachment of the wings on this plane. Now again, two men <laughs> were necessary to assemble this because one was grabbing... Hey, Captain Blush, film me. Hey, what is this? Hey, uh, I'm trying to make the point here of this plane. Hey, I, you I'm have filmed that before. I'm hey. distracted, hey. I'm mesmerized. <laughs> hey, don't screw me. I'm trying to make the point here for the dynamo. Captain Blush, film me. 
because this is really, now I must tell that this is quite expensive plane and the Dynam can afford itself to make such a mistakes on the plane for this kind of money. Now, Captain Blush, I was telling about the wings. Hey, show me. Film me, Captain Blush, I'm out there. I must tell to the viewers, say. Now, why, when you are assembling the wing, you must grab the plane and with the other hand, Push the wing inside. You don't really have hard. to you tell every. You don't have to tell every detail. Yeah, but I must tell you that you can't assemble this plane on your own. At least this one I couldn't. Eh? And then when you put the screws in, the anchors on the other side of this fuselage pop out, eh? and you don't have nothing. Eh? And you have to take the wing again out glue the anchorages and put them back. And the other thing on the wings are very very short wires. It was very hard, very hard to, to put them together and to assemble the wing. Not that. And when you finally assemble the wing, you push them together very hard, but when you, you release it, you see that there is again a gap on the wings. Hey, don't, hey, I'm not boring, I'm just telling the facts of yeah, this Yeah, I almost fell asleep. Look, again there was a gap that I had to seal with that, what do you call silicone. that? Silicone. The silicone butter, or what's that? Thing? Silly silicone. No, for this kind of money, something like this must not be on the plane. Now, I'm really wondering why is there only a one video of this black widow from Dynam on the YouTube, and this will actually be the second Dynam black widow. But I think it is but impossible here, to look. buy one. Why? You said it. <clears throat> there is no one else to buy one. Well, you can buy this plane anywhere. Now, I was lucky to get this. I mean, lucky. Hey, hey. I still like this plane. It is beautiful now when it is assembled, but it could be better, I will say that. Now, show to the viewers here. Yeah, you can show them that, hey. Why there is no propeller on the second motor. Yes. Now, when I was trying... Because you didn't know it was a counterclockwise. <laughs> I knew that Captain Blush, I was just too strong again like on that Navy Cup, eh? I tried to, 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 to what? To tighten the propeller and I broke the yeah, prop shaft, eh? No, tell the truth. What? You said you're going to tell the truth, the whole truth and not about the truth, so help me God. <laughs> you were unscrewing it the wrong way. Yeah, you knew it. I will just tell the truth. I, yeah, caught you, I caught you lying, eh? Okay? Because this plane, I have found out, I, I didn't pay attention when, but, but you can see on the propellers that this plane actually has a counter-rotating propeller. Now look at this, and I wasn't paying enough attention. This one goes like this, and this one will go like that. Eh? And first I was mounting this one, and on the second one I forgot and tried to unscrew it in the same way. Yes. And look what happened, eh? shit happened. Eh? But, but luckily, luckily, we must tell to the viewers that we are the craftsmen and we can make our own prop shafts. Look at this. Yes. Huh? What do you say, Captain Blush? We have made our own on this so lathe. Where do you see something like this? Hey, it's good to have a lathe in the workshop so you can make It's yourself. not the, the, the computer one, but hey, good enough to make, to make yourself a, a decent a decent spare shaft. Look at this. And now we will be able to test the plates. But I didn't put that on look, because you know why? Look, it perfect. Fits like a glove. Yeah, but you know why I didn't put that on? Because I must show to the viewers Captain Blush film here. Hey, you don't have much time. Hey, look. Exactly the same. Hey. Yeah, be quick. Why did I not put the shaft? Because I want to show the viewers. Look, even the motor covering. Look at all these gaps. You just cannot. You just cannot fix these gaps, look at this. But when you take this off, look at this. Look. Oh. Now what is this, hey? Dynam, what is this, hey? Now you can see right here on this motor... It was done with the machete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First they painted the plane, and then they have realized that this cover doesn't go on, and they just took a knife and just cut it. But look, how does this look, hey? How can you afford yourself to do this on the $300 plane. Now, of course, when you put the cover on, you don't see that, but hey, it could be better, I must tell you this. And look at this, when we are talking about this, look, what's this, hey? What's this, hey? This could have been a little better. Now, the, the final question that I have for this plane is like we have said on the unboxing, where the hell Dynam 
did you think that I will put here inside here the battery and the receiver and Captain Blanche Dog? There are still two cables here that I will have to, to, to put in. Now, viewers, don't be fooled. I must just show to the viewers quickly. Look, look at all these carbon bars and all these uh, uh, screws left. You don't need them, mate. That's the strange thing. I was, it was blowing my mind where to put them, but actually they don't go anywhere. Now about this compartment, now look at this. Where should I put the battery? Look at this mess, hey. The battery and the wires, what, just like this, and then receiver on the top or what, I don't know. But you, you will not be able to close this. Of course not. I have, but that guy who owns exactly the same plane on RC groups, he has told me a good tip that he has made a, a hole here to the fuselage of the plane and actually he has the receiver and all the cables here. Yeah, he has just cut this hole. out. Yeah, I will make the hole and put all this wiring in the back and then you can cover the plane. You're going to make a hole even though you're not a mole. Yeah, even though I'm not a mole, I will cut a hole. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... <coughs> now, what to tell, I will just grab this plane in my hand because even though with all those mistakes that shouldn't be on the plane, they shouldn't be for this kind of money. You can't buy a plane with all these gaps for $300, but when it is assembled and when you took the baby in your hands, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I must tell that I'm really happy to have it. It looks plane, really good. Even if it was the last one in Europe. No, no, it, is. it looks good, but you have to look it uh, from 100 yards away. No, 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 this, yeah, well, of course, look, at least on that distance, so you don't see all these gaps. Now, I will just tell quickly the last thing about this plane. Now, this plane came, you saw all that decals for the plane. No, you now, you see. don't see them on the plane. Why? Because those weren't the stickers in the box. <laughs> that was just the printed paper and with no stickers, eh? Oh, yeah. Now, what's that decal set, hey? Now, luckily, I had a few stickers from the... From the uh, Sticker set. From the British. Royal Air Force, and I have put it on just to look a little more better. Now look at this magnificent bird. It really looks very well now when it is assembled. Now there are drop tanks missing here. I will put them on the maiden flight, but... And we will just close our eyes on these gaps <laughs> and the gaps all around the plate. And we will just pretend that this is the perfect, perfect black widow. So, okay. Now, I really, really like the color. And look at this. Look at this gun, say. Now, I can just imagine this baby on our runway uh, at low passes. Yes. So, this is it, Captain Bosch. Yes. A quick review of the black widow. It's not quick. No, I hope. Now, I was quick as possible and quick as possible. Now, I really hope that the diamond. We'll watch this video and no, then we'll... No, he's not going to watch it. The dining room is not. going to watch it. <laughs> we, are, we are yet too small. We are too small and nobody cares about us, but it doesn't matter. We will still tell you the truth, hey? Yes. Yeah. So and, and the truth, the final truth of this is... Now, if this baby will fly well, I will forgive the dining for all the gaps on the plane. So this is it. Yes. Pilot Robert and Captain Blast signing of Slovenia with P61 Black Widow, the night fighter, not the bomber. Look at